So for today, we're going to be looking at the individual pieces for the Hunter, specifically for, for the Spider set. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the armor as in a review, and then we go through all of the shaders that I currently own, which those videos are both right here. You guys can check it out. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, and my personal thoughts for the review and for the shader video. It's literally just me showcasing all of the shaders that I currently own, and I've been playing for a while, so I do have quite a bit of shaders. And I do that for all the classes, not just the hunters. So if you guys are interested to see how it shaders, or if you guys are interested to see my personal opinion about the armor, definitely check those videos out. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and the boots. I definitely think the boots and the chest piece are probably the best pieces considering that boots I think look really cool. And the chest piece I literally used twice in this video. So that should definitely show you that I love the chest piece for this set. We're going to be using the helmet and the boots like i said but then we're going to go with the lichen grips and the lichen cloak and then for the chest piece the leering marrow ornament for the omni oculus so this is interesting considering i ended up going for a like spider type type thing so for this one my my whole shtick was i don't want to combine it with like hive pieces because i kind of want to use the helmet with the boots to do like a spider theme so for me I immediately thought like let's just have like a really hairy spider and this is how it came up for the shadering mercury vex chrome is what i use i don't there's not much thought into this you can really use any shader you want but the main reason i wanted to use this one is because it does a great job of combining the fur for the chest or for the helmet for the cloak and the arms with the boots because the boots have some fur and unfortunately they shader differently to a lot of the fur pieces that we already have so i definitely like this one i definitely think this is probably the coolest one maybe just because or like halloween wise this one is the best one i think the, the other ones are really cool still but they're just a bit different i guess you would say as for the next set i'm actually breaking a rule of mine which is i don't like to combine a chest piece and boots from the same set just because it kind of looks the same this one i decided to like outright just ignore that rule because a i could not find anything that was as good as the apilos following vest and i wanted to use the apilos following strides because they're symmetrical and the arms are symmetrical which is what we're using for the megalomorphs of uh, stuff as well as the cloak so this one i decided to just go in with like a scary vibe because the arms have like the the like pointy bits at the top and then because i was using the cloak as well i was like fuck it let's just go with like a bony look and i actually really like this set we are using the beastly visage ornament for the mask of backrest just because i feel like that's just going to be a little a lot better and for the shader crucible uh allerzen is what we're using to be honest be careful with the shader because if you have an armor set that has off colors you will notice like really bad like texturing to some shadering you can actually see it in the back of the cloak to a certain extent because uh the tips of the cloak you'll see like this like mangled up chrome almost and unfortunately yeah that's part of the coloring of the shader which is why i'm not the biggest fan of the shader but from the front it looks amazing and overall i think this one's really cool i think my only thing is i would probably switch out the apilos following vest for something else maybe like a hive theme piece so that way it can still look bony but again, I was just like, I, I was like, whatever, I'm just going to use both of these because at the, like at that time, I was like, I just want to complete these sets. But again, I would probably just switch out the Apollo's Apollo's following vest with literally any other hive piece, because I think that would be way better because for me, all you see is a Pylos following. And unfortunately, a Pylos following is a season pass ornament. So for a lot of people, they might not have it. So for me, the best like. Uh, substitution would probably just be hive pieces which we do have quite a bit of hive pieces in the game so don't feel like oh i missed out you do we definitely still have some good pieces that you can use the problem is are they symmetrical that's the biggest problem because i feel like you definitely want to combine it with symmetrical pieces with the arms so that's why i'm like unfortunately this is probably the best i'm gonna do which is unfortunate as for the next set, this one is actually the first one that I made because I just immediately ran with the chest piece because I love the chest piece. For the helmet, we're going to be using Wormhouse Crown. And for this, we're going to be combining it with Tortured Ivy just because that's the closest gold I found at the time. There are other golds you can definitely combine with it, but I like Tortured Ivy quite a bit. Uh, for the boots and the arms, we're going to be using the uh, Season of the Deep ornament, uh, Season Pass ornament, sp more specifically, the Limilar Strides. And grips i love these they're amazing and i think with the chest piece they look even better and then for the 
cloak we're using dark hollow mantle so i love this set i think this set looks amazing this is definitely going to be a set that i have for the worm husk crown now because i did have quite a few of them for the base look of it but a lot of it was just like casual sets with the helmet which i didn't think looked good but now that i have like a set that actually looks really cool with it i probably will like fine tune it a little bit more maybe switch out the arms for something that's a little bit more um an at like an anatomical like anatomy wise because i think that would be way better but overall i think the chest piece is definitely the best piece because i use it for another set which let's just get into it for this one we're going to be using the aeon swifts i think that's what it's called for the helmet omni oculus mask with the legatus cloak combination so that way i have no cloak and then again the aphotic lemelar strides so i think this looks amazing especially with sato tribe because a lot of the times people will combine me specifically as well i will combine aeon swift or any of the aeons with like the red glow or the green glow and me personally i find the blue glow is just the best one to use it's the most useful in my opinion so i wanted to combine it with the blue because i was like i don't want to use a red or green because no one's like realistically going to use those so i decided to go with the blue and i'm happy i did because i think sato tribe looks amazing with it overall i think this looks amazing with the, like, like the the anatomy looking of the chess piece for the hunters and then the aeon swifts with like just the fact that it just looks very an like anatomy that's all it really is and i really like this set i really wish we had the option to turn off cloaks with the helmets because i would not be using omni oculus for this one i'd probably be using another helmet but again this is probably the best thing i can do because the other helmet that turns off uh cloaks i don't really like personally so let me know what you guys think i definitely think the chess piece uh, sets are really, really cool, but I do think like in the spirit of like Halloween and stuff, the first one's the best one just because it kind of, it, it very much does look like a spider. I didn't mention this, but with the leering marrow ornament, I, the like eyes kind of look super dead, like spider eyes. So that's why I really, really like it as well. So I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.